Hi, I'm Rithi. And I'm Stefan. And we did a, a breathalyzer with um, a higher sense of calibration, basically. This sensor is not not accurate unless you have it at about have it on and heated for about six hours, maybe nine hours or so. And our job was to calibrate this so that you can just turn it on and use it right away. And um, the calibration data that was collected, I think there's like 26 plots at different times. And so here's uh, the 26 plots. Each row is a plot, and then the plots have you have. Um, you have the voltage, and then converted to the A to D value, and converted to the BAC value, and I converted it to the error signal. So the error signal is based off of what it's supposed to be for your BAC level, and if it's incorrect, it would be offset by this error signal, like control systems. So if you look at the plots, they're all pretty similar. So they they follow the same type of trend. It's just that they're going to be off a little bit because of the temperature difference. Because what I figured out was that from uh, when you turn it on, the reason why it takes so long to calibrate to uh, get temperatures is because the sensor seems to turn on to a hot, turn on and heat up, right? So the heating coil goes, and then as if you're going to a low low BAC, it's going to overshoot it, and if you go to a like a mid midway, it's going to basically crit critically damped, and then if you go to a really high one, it's going to undershoot it, and basically that um, the tr that's that's the the pattern of how it's reacting. So the temperature coil is basically going on and off, and because it's heating up, the resistance is going up. And since the resistance is going up, the current is decreasing in it, so then it would have a different temperature. And yeah, here's some air signal plots. And basically, that's it. So um, this is a this is rubbing alcohol, which is really high in um, alcohol level. It's 70 percent by volume. So um, so you can turn it, put in the height, basically. Um, but I guess this wouldn't have been a height. <laughs> so. Hold on. Oh, it froze. Can you pause it? All right, go. Action. Okay. So you can put in your height, and this ball is five feet, and it weighs a hundred pounds, or you can just make it. 104 pounds. And then uh, if it samples, it's this one. Yeah. It says the BAC is 0.28, which is basically right because this is really, really high. Basically, at 0.2 BAC, you're supposed to be unconscious. So at 0.28, you're supposed to be a uh, loving <laughs> alcohol bottle, I guess. <laughs> 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 That's our presentation. Okay. Great. Thanks, guys.